Hey gang, I thought I'd do a quick little shrink rip here. Um, the Northern Struggle, Leningrad 41. This is a Kickstarter uh, product done, uh, created by Vento Nuovo Games. I did not Kickstarter this. This uh, arrived in the mail today, uh, July 25th. Uh, more as a, I, I don't know why it came. Uh, I was chatting with uh, Emanuele, the owner of the company, and he had asked me if I'd ordered the game, and I'd said, you know, no, I hadn't, because I was trying to budget, trying not to be crazy with all my money. And he said, oh my gosh, I gotta send you a copy. So uh, I didn't think any more of it. That was a couple of months ago. And a few weeks ago, he sent me an email and said, hey, you know, have you got the game? What'd you think of it? And I said, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. And so I think they either resent it or found out where this got stuck in, uh, in customs and uh, got it released and got it to me. So here we have the second title. So we had uh, Moscow 41, which I think you've seen my gameplay videos and you've probably seen the shrink rip. I enjoyed that game very much. Uh, we've you know, now made a, looks like a, a permanent movement to these smaller boxes and the uh, folding maps, which is very, very welcome. Uh, fits on the shelf a lot better than uh, the Waterloo title and blocks in the east, etc. excuse me. And so let's have a look inside. I've not seen anything here. Literally just pulled the shrink off. Um, huh, looks like someone stickered my styling, <laughs> styling counter for me. Uh, but the other guys are not count, not stick it. Now that would have been nice to have it uh, delivered stick it. That'd be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? Uh, this looks like this might be the Kickstarter uh, full Monty edition. It's got the all the aeroplane. There's aeroplanes here. Um, what does it say? I can't read. It. It's uh, L41 plus. I guess you know extra metal bombers and stuff like that. And there's the supply tokens. Same system as Moscow 41. And it's been a while since I've played it, so I can't really you too much about it but uh i recall this much straightforward gameplay it's a block obviously it's a block game uh it is obviously there's the hitler counter as well the hitler block in there as well uh it's a pretty straightforward title you've got to make hard choices every turn as to who you are going to activate which formations and all the rest of it full color rule book rule book rule book that uh, gives you a nice components manifest and then full, full color descriptions and uh, pic pictures and diagrams in here, which I, is quite novel. Uh, yeah, this all looks pretty much the same. Victory areas and uh, how you reduce strength. There was a little confusion over that. With Moscow 41, wow, I am super tired, guys. I'm so sorry. But uh, I'm actually kind of... Uh, glad that he sent me this because I was kicking myself for not getting it just because I, I liked 41 so much and the Leningrad campaign <clears throat> you know it's not something that I've ever really gravitated towards because I felt like most of the time this is going to be a very static siege oriented uh, exercise but I think this game is really going to give us the full approach oh yeah this is a big map wow i didn't realize this map was so big it feels bigger than moscow 41 but i'm sure it's not i'm sure it's the same let me see if i can get this laid out for you here so you have to pardon me i'll hold it up so let's orient here's leningrad lagoda uh lake Riga is down here. So this is uh, going to be, it looks like it's going to be from 41, early from, from the launch of the conflict. Oh, actually, no, because look, this starts out as a uh, as an HQ uh, or a supply center for the Germans. So at some point, if I looked at the rules and read something before we started, I could tell you exactly when it started, but you'll see it in gameplay. Um, Tallinn is a victory location. You've got the Trail to Murmansk uh, track that uh, is similar to the Moscow 41 game that had the Trail to Leningrad track. And you can join these two games and play Moscow 41, Leningrad 41 together. Novograd, we go all the way across to his Kalinin here, so just to the north of the Volga and uh, Moscow. <clears throat> and uh, there's Veliki Luki, 
as well. Another primary area, the area that if you've played these games, you will know, played any uh, East Front games, you know that they're important locations. This is also a launching point, as are these two areas here. You've got the setup instructions on the map. Gorgeous artwork again. Uh, lots of information imparted on the map for you. Uh, this is going to, uh, obviously, uh, location number for the area, and that's going to determine your defensive terrain and your movement cost. This is a victory location, major city. You've got your rivers and you've got uh, some sort of uh, closing the ring. This is, must be a scenario setup. Uh, information, beautiful stuff. So, uh, we, whoa, whoa, my stand collapsed on me. Here we go. So, interesting uh, title to come out. They, whoops, I got this wrong. How does this go? It's one of the, I'm so map challenged when it comes to folding these things up. And it looks like they were gracious enough to send me the full mounted map as well, which I'm going to leave in the shrink right now. It's identical, it's just fully mounted. I also think they sell a Gore Tex or Gore Tex equivalent. A uh, full, uh, larger map that is uh, slightly bigger. I I'm not 100% certain on that. So we've got uh, Leningrad Insight scenario closing and closing the ring scenario by the looks of it. So two scenarios there. Uh, we can go to the back of the book to have a look uh, and see what else is in there. Nice uh, charts. There's uh, information on both sides and there's one for each player. Sequence of play. Very straightforward game, but rich, rich, rich gameplay. I really really like the way these games play. They're thematic and they're, they generate some narrative, some crazy things can happen. You've got that fog of war thing going on for you. Uh, there's uh, some nice defensive, defensive concepts built in, air war built in, supply built in, all in a block game. You know, who said block games had to be, you know, kind of dumbed down and, uh, and uh, basic like uh, some of the, you know, other block game Manufacturers, I nearly said their name. That would have been bad. Uh, so we're not going to do that. We won't be disparaging because we're just a happy, clappy little video blogger guy. Uh, so there's, so there's that. You know, one thing I don't see actually, which is kind of funny. I must have missed it. Is the sticker sheet? Is it here? I think they might have missed that. Oh, well, that would kind of suck, wouldn't it? They'll have to mail it out to me separately. Yep. Unless it's in the in the rule book, uh, looks like I'm 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 short a sticker a stickering. Uh, maybe they started stickering the game and said the hell with it. He can do it himself. <laughs> Who knows? All right. Well, we'll see what happens. So there's a little, quick little look at the game. We'll get this to the table at some point in the near future. I've played a lot of East Front games recently. I've got one more on the table. So it's going to be a while before we get this. Probably be around uh, the December time frame before we, we, we touch this one. I'm eagerly awaiting Borodino, uh, which is about to ship very soon. That is uh, another game that I'm excited about coming from this organization. And they also have a new title coming out, New System. Uh, which will be focused on Stalingrad. Uh, and that will be a, a fascinating uh, system as well. I'm looking forward to reading the rules and seeing the fun finished product on that. So look out for that Kickstarter as well. All right, guys, talk to you soon. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Bye.